So friends, welcome to our Twitter Spaces today. Of of FNOK Charcha. So today we are going to share with you about knowing your best option strategy. And our guest today is Aditya. Aditya is a I am alumni. He also has passed his level three in CFA and is a full time option trader managing over two hundred crores. So welcome, Aditya. Thank you, Mr. Sanka. Thank you for the introduction. So, Aditya, how did you start off with your options trading journey? If you can just share with us. Okay, so I've been trading since two thousand eleven, two thousand seven in my college days. But uh, options, I specifically started. I had an account with India Bull. So the the their RM called me and explained options to me one day over a phone and I found it very interesting. So I had a capital of around seven lakhs, which I had reduced to one lakh. And he told me that I can take the same positions using options. I had to buy them, and I I can get the exact same payoff, uh, and uh, using one lakh only. And uh, my fund size had reduced from seven lakh to around two lakh. So I risked my one lakh rupee over there, and I bought some DLF or an HDIL call options, which ultimately went to zero. That is how I started my options trading with a loss making experience. Okay, so generally with so much of loss, people tend to never enter that market. Especially you are talking about two thousand fifteen, right? Two thousand eleven so, it was actually two thousand eleven. So around two thousand eleven, if you would have lost eight lakhs, and even now that's a lot of money. So people would have left that journey. Yeah, so yeah. how so do I restart it again? I actually bust my account, and then uh, after probably some months, I realized that the game is to sell the options. So then it was pretty easy. आपको कुछ नहीं करना होता था. You just had to, you know, go for uh, pick a stock and uh, sell that uh, whatever is the suppose whatever is the future price. Just ten percent out of the money each side. You make a triangle, and uh, whatever price you sell it, hundred percent SL on that. That was a simple strategy used to work pretty well, and it used to give a ROI of five to six percent. So I I did it till two thousand fifteen, two thousand two thousand yeah two thousand fifteen, and uh, it was it was a very consistent and decent strategy. Because of that initial loss, I figured out that the game was to sell, not buy. Okay, that's yeah. great. That's Shankar, great. I think so. Hmm. you have forgot to mention uh, aditya is now uh, right now is a full time algo trader so uh, yes, yeah. yes yes i'm so sorry so, so sorry uh, peter aditya uh, why uh, you, uh, you started as a discretionary trader right as a manual trader why you shifted to yeah, algo trading everybody everybody i think starts as a discretionary trader only so i shifted in uh, you know i shifted to system trading in around uh probably 2018 mid of 2018 and then went on to be an algo trader in uh, you know somewhere around 2019 end of 2019 so it's like only 2 to 2 and a half years only that i've been in, uh, you know i've been using algos to trade uh i switched it to because you know it's i feel it's very difficult to scale when you are using something discretionary right so because you know if you have to scale uh, so i i'll tell you a bit more about you know my journey What happened was in 2015, I had built a sizable corpus. I got some investor, and uh, what happened was uh, there was a stock called Jindal Steel. Now that stock uh, had fallen from uh, the government had deallocated the coal blocks then somewhere in October 2014, and that stock had fallen from around uh, 1100 levels to uh, 150 to 200 levels, right? So I approached and. Uh, so i approached one of my investors i said that you know we put every everything in this because ultimately you know uh, there will be a power shortage if the government deallocates these blocks and you know don't go ahead with another auction so we uh, put all our money and we took a leverage position in jindal steel uh, and we bought it at an average price of around 140 uh, and it was a huge position i mean 24 lakh shares it was and from uh, 140 it went to 220 we had a target you know we said we'll take 100% return so we said we'll book it at 280 but from two, uh, it won the gare palma block coal block but uh, soon after you know next day or a couple of days uh, the government said that there was a cartelization and they'll uh, you know cancel the auction 
and it started falling and then uh, it came around uh, 80 where our leverage position got squared off so i lost all my personal capital everything and then i went on to you know i i'd given my cat exam in uh, uh, in uh, 2014 december i guess so i got uh, i got, i got a call from one of the new iims and then i uh, you know went for the interview and then because i had lost my capital that is how i uh, you know went for an mba now while i was doing my mba 2016 17 i was you know uh, doing some option i mean not doing i was just paper trading some option strategies then uh, during my college days and uh, that is when i figured out you know that you have to move to systems trading because you know if to, to scale your funds i have to reach that back level which i was in 2015 i'll have to scale my funds and that is only possible if i am doing some kind of a system trade so that is i why i uh, started building strategies like you know strategies around iron uh, condor iron and fly these type of strategies aditya jindal stock yeah. you have you bought uh, like 120 level Uh, of twenty five lakh shares, yeah, twenty four lakh shares. I lost around twenty four lakh. Yeah, twenty four lakh shares in two thousand fifteen. So that uh, means hundred rupees profit means you made like uh, uh, like yeah, the profit was twenty five yes, crore. Yes, 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 I I made a very good loss in that position. I mean, if you put it oh. in a bank account, even the interest would be way more than what an IIM graduate gets as a salary. No, yeah, but uh, the stock has moved to one two twenty, right? The hundred rupees high. The, yeah, the stock moved to two twenty in February two thousand fifteen. Then the mm. government said that there was cartelization and they'll allay, cancel the auction and started falling. So we waited because we said, okay, Jindal, you know, came up with that wheel. They'll fight in Delhi High Court. Delhi's High Court, you know, gave a favorable so uh, ruling. I mean. the uh, so there are two ways how a ruling come one is one is that you know they uh, make a judgment and then they reserve the decision and come out with the final uh, you know judgment right so mm-hmm. based on the arguments that were there so i was i was part of the court hearing also so i was actively tracking it and i thought that they'll win in the high court but then in uh, ultimately everything got deallocated Okay, so you have not booked any profit at two twenty. You cut the uh, no, like position. No, my position right? is that we we were just you know uh, selling call options, and then the leverage position got squared off at eighty. So I lost my entire corpus. In fact, uh, uh, I lost quite a bit of my father's net worth also, and uh, we were in debts, which ultimately you know we had to sell something and then pay it off. That is what happened. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any words. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. I I yeah. I thought it's uh, you know it's uh, it should be good to mention it because you know uh, uh, it's not like what it seems actually. I think uh, uh, Aditya, this will teach us a lesson uh, with your story. So the learning which I can take away from your experience is never play on leverage with leverage. Yeah, and do not put your all your eggs in one basket. That too. Yes, I was doing too, really yeah. well, you know, with my option strategy that I told you. You know, what I used to do was that I used to pick up stocks that have that have very high, you know, premiums. Ten percent out of the money, like Sun Pharma was at nine hundred levels. Ten percent out of money, simply you ride both the strangles, and then that's it. Walk hard, Sun Pharma. I Voltas. I used to earn like uh, you know. A five to six percent on that kind of a capital in 2015, and it was pretty easy. Market also didn't move much. किसी को ऑप्शन के बारे में पता नहीं होता था तो the prices also were pretty good उस टाइम. So it was easy money then I'd say. Okay, so uh, Aditya, I had one question like you talked about some strategies, straddle, strangle, and iron condor. So how like can you explain some of these strategies that you used in algo trading, and also like mm-hmm. the so- algo trading people use, but what are some of the pros or cons? regarding that to our users with some so, examples as well uh, you know the strategies these simple strategies like iron condor na if i have tested it on a, a mean reverting asset class which is usd inr i have tested it on a trend following asset class like bank nifty but agar aap isko management ke bina karte ho any of these strategies they are actually not profitable तो अगर आप जैसे iron condor ki baat karo to iska minus 22% return aata hai bank nifty pe aap karte ho to annual so simply if you are just putting an iron condor it is not a profitable strategy but if you are you know uh, this is this is what i back tested from the gdfl files but aap isme agar halka bahut management laga dete ho to thoda positive ho jata hai ye normally iron condor jo jo butterfly strategy jo bhi matlab chalti hai na wo itni zyada profitable strategies nahi hai 
या फिर आ, मतलब आपको एक रिस्क फ्री एसेट से ज्यादा रिटर्न नहीं दे सकती मतलब एफ से ज्यादा रिटर्न नहीं देंगी नॉर्मल स्ट्रेटेजी जैसे आपको उसमें कहीं ना कहीं मैनेजमेंट लगाना पड़ेगा तो आपको आइर यू हैव टू यूज योर डिस्क्रिप्शन और यू हैव टू बिल्ड रूल्स अराउंड मैनेजिंग दैम कि आपको कैसे उसको मैनेज करना है सो आयरन कॉन्डोर इज अंपल आई मीन स्ट्रेटेजी की आप जहाँ पे आप स्ट्रैंगल्स को राइट करते हो तो अगर जैसे मान लो बैंक निफ्टी पैंतीस हजार चल रहा है तो आप मान लो दो सौ पॉइंट नीचे का टू हंड्रेड पॉइंट नीचे का आप पुट भी बेचते हो कॉल भी बेचते हो और फिर उसके विंग्स ले लेते हो और थोड़ा दूर जाके एंड इफ द मार्केट एक्सपायर विद इन दैट रेंज तो आपको वो पूरा वो मिल जाता है so friends uh, just to update all of you whatever we are sharing here it's only and only for knowledge purpose and definitely not recommendation so that's very nice to hear from your experience uh when you are going to uh, trade in options before options aditya what are the things do you generally check before trading in these options so the only thing is options is a leverage product so aapko usko risk reward dekhna padta you know that uh, so i have a very simple rule you know even if i am making a strategy or anything and i am yet to come across a loss making strategy if somebody follows that rule simple rule hai the expected you know uh, gain should be greater than 0 after slippage is i feel the expected gain should be uh, greater than 1 so expected gain is simply you know the size of win into the probability of win minus the size of loss into the probability of loss so whatever you do if you put into it equation simply so uh, there cannot be a strategy which makes losses ha, until and unless that at is asset class is mean reverting mean reverting asset classes pe ye rule nahi chalta but trend following agar koi bhi asset class hoga to us pe expected gain greater than 0 hamesha ek profitable strategy hi aayegi loss making strategy aa nahi sakti ye ho sakta hai after slippage uh, it will be a loss making strategy बट uh, उससे पहले वो हमेशा प्रॉफिटेबल ही रहेगी देन यू हैव टू जस्ट ट्वीक योर पैरामीटर्स और उसको आप फिर प्रॉफिटेबल बना सकते हो सो आई आई गिव एन एग्जांपल कि जैसे प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ विन का क्या मतलब हुआ अब आप एक ओटीएम ऑप्शन बेचते हो बहुत दूर का राइट right? तो उसमें प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ विन तो आपके फेवर में हो जाती है बट साइज ऑफ विन आपके अगेंस्ट हो जाता है क्यों क्योंकि आप नाइन्टी ऑफ टाइम्स कमा रहे हो बट आप जो वन और या टेन ऑफ टाइम लूज कर रहे हो यू आर लूजिंग बिग राइट तो आपका एक एक छोटा कमा रहे हो और ज्यादा टाइम कमा रहे हो ऐसे ही अगर आप एक बड़ा ऑप्शन बेचते हो उसमें आप शायद 50 परसेंट या 30 परसेंट विन रेशियो होगा आपका बट आप ज्यादा कमा रहे हो राइट सो इफ यू पुट दिस दिस इनटू द इक्वेशन साइज ऑफ विन इनटू प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ विन माइनस साइज ऑफ लॉस इनटू प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ लॉस और अगर ये जीरो से ज्यादा आते हैं तो उस स्ट्रेटेजी पक्का की पक्का ही प्रॉफिटेबल होगी ये पक्का है मीन रिवर्टिंग एसेट क्लास पे ये नहीं चलता ये इक्वेशन तो ये लाइक आपका टाइम फ्रेम क्या रहता है स्ट्रेटेजीज का लाइक टू बिकम प्रॉफिटेबल As you said, the mean reverse. So, its expiry. How much? What expiry you put? You keep generally keep, or you keep on rolling. Generally, 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 what happens is the trend that come in the market now are short-lived. Okay, because every every thing को अपने एक mean पे fall करना ही होता है in the long term. So, if you are working around this rule, आपको एक पहला rule follow करना पड़ेगा कि आपको nearest expiry को choose करना है. Because ultimately, if you are doing this rule or a trend following पे कर रहे हो, तो आप delta कमा रहे हो, right? So, if you are if you are uh, uh, प्लेइंग अराउंड थीटा तो थीटा में आपको पैसा नहीं मिलेगा इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग दिस रूल थीटा आपको मीन रिवेटिंग एसेट क्लास में पैसा दे सकता है नॉट इन अ ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग एसेट क्लास थीटा इज द यू नो डीके ऑफ ऑप्शन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम एंड डेल्टा इज कि वो कितना प्रीमियम चेंज होता है विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द मूव ऑफ द अंडरलाइन अंडरलाइन या या ओके सो कमिंग ऑन टू द लाइक टॉपिक लाइक ऑप्शन स्ट्रेटजी सो लाइक सिंस यू टोल्ड दैट यू मोस्टली आप सेल करते हैं ऑप्शंस तो आप like would you go for buying also options I mean, in I'm like what saying, conditions i'm not saying i sell the options i'm not saying i i only sell the options the point i'm making is ki you know uh, either you are buying or you are selling once you implement the strategies you should see the gross exposure ki uska gross exposure kya hai so gross exposure ka kya matlab hai jaise bank nifty ka 25 ka ek lot hai right uska 35000 ya 40000 ka suppose aap man lo price hai to uska gross exposure aapka 10 lakhs aa raha hai 40000 into 25 तो जब आप बाय कर रहे हो जब आप सेल कर रहे हो तो आप ग्रॉस एक्सपोजर का ध्यान रखो कि आप अगर आप दो लाख रुपए पे दस लाख रुपए का माल बेचते हो इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑप्शन राइटिंग तो आप बाय करने में तो आपको सिर्फ उसको प्रीमियम के पैसा देना है शायद दस हजार रुपए देना पड़ेगा बट आप दो लाख रुपए से सेम बाइंग की स्ट्रेटेजी चलाओगे तो वो भी अच्छा परफॉर्म करेगी इनफैक्ट ऑप्शन सेलिंग से बट द पॉइंट इज यू शुड नॉट ओवर लीवर योर सेल्फ इन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्रॉस एक्सपोजर लोग क्या करते हैं वो बाइंग का देखते हैं कि दस रुपए ही लग रहा है बट एक्सपोजर तो उसका टेन लैक्स है ना तो अपने आपको वो लीवर कर लेते हैं वहां पर ज्यादा और वो अच्छा डीडी दे देता है उनको
Okay, so like, up. Uh, can you give some examples like of uh, when when uh, some strategies regarding which involves mostly buying options and like some strategies when you sell when you sell options. So like, what all you look after while doing this? Some right. So examples of I those strategies. You, hmm. as, I, as I told you, trend following asset class me. In in a trend following asset class, it, a very simple rule is your expected gain should be greater than zero. Now, if you look at the super trend indicator, it is a it works perfectly on a trend following uh, asset class. So, you know, so uh, what you can do is simply you know on a super trend, just uh, uh, I mean use options to trade that indicator, right? So, if a super trend pe buy aaya, use either you sell an option or you buy an option. that is the way you can follow and you just keep an sl so once you keep an sl you have restricted your size of the loss to agar aap equation mein dekhoge size of win into probability of win minus size of loss into probability of loss now once you kept that sl to aapne apna size of loss ko restrict kar diya now probability of win super trend mein dekhoge it's like 30 to 35% ke aas pass hai but it will give you a big win so the 0.35 into jo size of win hua minus size of loss jo aapne restrict kar diya so typical 1 is to 2 ka agar aap rr loge तो ये आपके फेवर में आ जाएगा क्योंकि 0.35 थ्री फाइव इंटू टू माइनस पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव इंटू वन तो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव का एक्सपेक्टेड गेन हो गया तो अगर आप ऐसी कोई भी आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल टू फॉर्मुलेट अ स्ट्रेटेजी क्योंकि एक्जैक्ट स्ट्रेटेजी देखो मैं जो चलाता हूँ आई आई वॉन्ट बी यू नो शेयरिंग इन नॉट इट इन दिस फोरम राइट क्योंकि स्ट्रेटेजीज आर ऑलवेज मतलब देर इज आई गोट अ लॉट ऑफ कैपिटल और स्ट्रेटेजीज यू नो द मार्केट में इतनी लिक्विडिटी नहीं होती कि वो एब्जॉर्ब कर पाए अगर अगर नॉट अ फिफ्टीन मिनट फाइव मिनट टाइम फ्रेम पे अगर आप तकरीबन वन फिफ्टी टू क्या थ्री की सेटिंग पे चलाते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल सुपर ट्रेंड को नाउ इट गिवस यू एन इंडिकेटर की वो बाय करना है कि सेल करना है राइट नाउ वन सिट देर इज अ बाय सिग्नल यू जस्ट गो फॉर यू नो शॉर्टिंग एन ए टी एम ऑप्शन एंड टेक ट्वेंटी परसेंट एस डी एस एल बस आप सुपर ट्रेंड के इंडिकेटर पे ये लेते रहो तकरीबन इस स्ट्रेटेजी का आर ओ आई है फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट के आसपास आर ओ आई है आई डिड क्वांट्स लीग का एक वो हुआ था वेबिनार हुआ था उसमें मैंने शेयर शेयर किया था और वहां पे मैंने शीट शीट पूरी शेयर की थी विद बैक टेस्ट सो इफ समबडी वांट्स द बैक टेस्ट आई कैन शेयर द पिंक 40 टू 45 परसेंट का इसका आर है सुपर ट्रेंड पे 150 टू 3 की सेटिंग पे आप लगाओ और जैसे ही बाय आता है आप एटीएम ऑप्शन शॉर्ट करो विद ट्वेंटी एसएल सेल आता है तो आप एटीएम ऑप्शन कॉल वाला शॉर्ट कर दो विद ट्वेंटी एसएल फोर्टी टू फोर्टी का आर है दिस इज द एक्जैक्ट स्ट्रेटेजी आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग की मैंने इसको एक्सपेक्टेड गेन कैसे वन बनाया बिकॉज इज विन रेशो थर्टी है बट आपका विन इतना ज्यादा है कि अल्टीमेटली वो प्रॉफिटेबल स्ट्रेटेजी हो जाती है इसके ड्रॉडाउन इतने ज्यादा है कि मैं इसको चला नहीं पाता इट डजेंट फिट माई यू नो ड्रॉडाउन सो हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट इज टेक्निकल एनालिसिस आदित्य फॉर यू फॉर यूर ट्रेडिंग डू यू लुक एट टेक्निकल एनालिसिस आई जस्ट फॉलो आई जस्ट फॉलो वन थिंग विच इज प्राइस सो For me, price only price price yeah, matters. Okay. Yeah, volume also doesn't matter. OI पे मेरी कुछ strategies हैं, but uh, uh, OI थोड़ा बहुत matter करता है I feel, but uh, based on discussions that I have had with learned people, वो कहते हैं कि इतना matter नहीं करता. But my understanding is OI थोड़ा बहुत matter करता है. Volume बिल्कुल भी matter नहीं करता. At least for me, I have been not able to decode a strategy कि जहाँ पे volume से मेरे को कुछ एक edge मिल रहा हो. Price is the only thing that I take care. So, अगर मेरे को technical analysis में भी क्या होता है, you just plot price in certain patterns, वैसे बना देते हो. So we are also using, we are straight away taking price from the GDFL files और फिर उसको अपने हिसाब से कर लेते हैं. So we are not using any of these indicators. जैसे super trend है, इनपे we do certain type of back test, but we are not using any of them right now. Right. So your style is primarily price action, and whenever you see, uh, it's going to change direction. So maybe that's That's the time where you initiate your trade. So yes, that's right, right? Yes. Yeah. So typically, like OI, I give a good example. Give you generally people say that this particular strike has so much OI, right? Now that is an incorrect way of looking at it. Because in that, if you do some back testing, you do not get any kind of predictive power. 
बट अगर आप क्या करते हो जैसे कोई स्ट्राइक आपकी टेस्ट हो रही है फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड है अब आप कहते हो सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड में मान लो सेवेंटी लैक्स का ओ आई था राइट तो सेवेंटी लैक्स का ओ आई है अब जब वो स्ट्राइक को टेस्ट कर रहा है सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड मार्केट अगर मान लो पुट की बात कर रहे हैं सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड पुट में फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेवेंटी लैक्स ओ आई है अब जब मार्केट सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड से सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड जा रहा है उस टाइम पे जब वो टेस्ट कर रहा है सेवनटीन थाउजेंड तोड़ दिया उसने सिक्सटीन Uh, मतलब आप लगा लो 16, 17, 20, 17, 16, 9, 80 लेवल्स पे है तो उसका अगर ओआई बढ़ रहा है तो वो एक लॉन्ग ट्रेड है अगर उसका ओआई उस पॉइंट पे डिक्रीज हो रहा है तो एक शॉर्ट ट्रेड है ये बहुत अच्छा चलता है राइट सो एवरीथिंग आई एम टॉकिंग ऑफ यू नो इज इज स्ट्रिक्टली बैक टेस्टेड मतलब कुछ ऐसा नहीं है कि मैं अपने उससे बोल रहा हूं राइट आप बैक टेस्टिंग कर रहे हैं एंड उसके बाद उसको तो एल्गो में लगा रहे हैं राइट सो आदित्य अभी देख लीजिए देर आर देर आर सम पीपल आर लाइक ऑप्शन बाइयर्स सम पीपल आर ऑप्शन सेलर्स तो सबको आप आप बोलते हैं कि इसको बैक टेस्ट करो बैक टेस्ट करके उसको हिस्टोरिकल में बेटर रिटर्न मिल रहा है देन यू गो एंड डिप्लॉय इन दाइक इन लाइफ मे बी कैन एल्गो और मैन ट्रेडिंग यू कैन यू कैन So Algo so, is just a way to do it automatically. बाकी तो एक बार आपने बैक टेस्ट करके एक प्रॉफिटेबल स्ट्रेटेजी निकाल लिया तो सिस्टम तो आपके पास आएगी आपका ओके सो ये केस में इफ इफ ए ट्रेडर देर में भी ए डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ड्रॉडाउन मे बी हम लोग प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी नहीं देख सकता है कि ये हिस्टोरिकली कितना प्रॉफिट दिया है बट ड्रॉडाउन भी देखना पड़ेगा क्योंकि अपना साइकोलॉजी में भी इम्पैक्ट होगा सो एज ए ट्रेडर ही वॉन्ट टू पोजिशन हिमसेल्फ एज ए बायर ऑफ द ऑप्शन और सेलर ऑफ द ऑप्शन ये वो कैसा कर सकता है इसके लिए कुछ आप आप कुछ देर इज अ टर्म कॉल्ड कैलमर कैलमर इज बेसिकली योर मैक्स प्रॉफिट और सॉरी योर एनुअल प्रॉफिट डिवाइडेड बाई योर मैक्स ड्रॉडाउन सो एनी स्ट्रेटेजी आई फील इफ इट इज अजिशनल स्ट्रेटेजी एनी स्ट्रेटेजी विद ग्रेटर कैलमर ग्रेटर देन अ कैलमर ऑफ फोर एंड एनी इफ इट इज एन इंटरेस्ट इंटरेडे स्ट्रेटेजी एनी स्ट्रेटेजी विद कैलमर ग्रेटर देन सिक्स इज अ गुड स्ट्रेटेजी so so this is what I follow so if if you are buying or selling so buying का generally calmer कम हो जाता है selling का calmer ज्यादा हो जाता है so if you are whatever you are doing buying or selling if you just look at this particular you know uh, uh, statistic which is the calmer तो it will give you a fair idea now suppose you know there is a strategy which gives which gives four hundred percent returns और उसका forty percent drawdown है right now so you run it on ten percent capital size तो वो वही strategy forty percent return और ten percent drawdown की so it's all about calmer so if you just look at this particular statistic ki jiska calmer zyada hai mere ko wo chalani hai uske around aap lever karke option buy karke lever karke agar uska kam return hai for example if a strategy is 21% aur uska 3% drawdown like one of the position strategies that i am running to agar uska 7 ka calmer aa raha hai right ab mere ko usko lever karna hai so i'll buy options and lever it and i'll you know make it a 210% strategy and on a 30% drawdown so if i have this calmer figure i can either lever or delever myself and you know accordingly position myself तो चाहे बाइंग की स्ट्रेटेजी हो चाहे सेलिंग की स्ट्रेटेजी हो इट्स ऑल अबाउट कि उसका यू नो रिटर्न इज टू ड्रॉडाउन कितना है वो रेशियो कितना है तो so, uh, आप ऑप्शन बाई भी कर सकते हैं सेल भी कर सकते हैं बट आपको रिस्क को मैनेज करना पड़ेगा कितना पोजीशन लेना है पोजीशन साइजिंग आपको मैनेज करना पड़ेगा राइट एक्सैक्टली बेस्ड ऑन योर एक्सपेक्टेड रिटर्न यू लैव टू मैनेज योर पोजिशन साइज सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप, आपको एक स्ट्रेटेजी चलानी है सो एंड दिस इज नॉट माई आइडिया आई कैन सी दैट पर्सन जिसका आइडिया वो ग्रुप पे अभी है तो आपको जैसे एक स्ट्रेटेजी चलानी है फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू नो एंड इट हैज गॉट अ ड्रॉडाउन ऑफ फिफ्टी थाउजेंड राइट फॉर एक पर लॉट पे आप लगा लो मान लो दो हजार पॉइंट का ड्रॉडाउन है तो दो हजार पॉइंट का ड्रॉडाउन इज लाइक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ड्रॉडाउन ठीक है तो अब आपको उसको पचास हजार प्लस उसका मार्जिन ये रख के आपको उसको चलाना है स्ट्रेटेजी को सिंपल या आप उस पर अगर मान लो एक स्ट्रेटेजी पे आप बोलते हो पचास हजार का ड्रॉडाउन है और मेरे को लॉस लेना है दो लाख रुपए का टोटल उस स्ट्रेटेजी पे मैं चार लॉट से उस स्ट्रेटेजी को चलाऊंगा राइट सो वट एवर ड्रॉडाउन उस ड्रॉडाउन बैक टेस्टेड ड्रॉडाउन को आप इंटू टू कर लो और इंटू टू करने के बाद जो भी आपको स्ट्रेटेजी पे लॉस लेना है लॉट से आप उस स्ट्रेटेजी को चलाओ राइट बट आप ऐसा भी मार्जिन एडिशनल रखता है तो इट विल इम्पैक्ट यूर रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट राइट आर ओ आई पे काफी इम्पैक्ट आएगा आप एक्स्ट्रा फंड रख रहा है एग्जैक्टली सो राइट नाउ क्या होता है इट्स नॉट अबाउट एक्स्ट्रा फंड सो आई कैन लिवर माई सेल्फ यूजिंग बाइंग ऑप्शन ऑल्सो I mean, I can buy options for margin benefit. I can lever in, uh, you know, one of the ways to lever it is is in that way. The other way is, you know, uh, that uh, I mean, you can simply implement a buying strategy, na? I mean, just like a selling strategy, buying strategy works also equally well. Only thing would be that its drawdown will be a little bit more. So you can accordingly position size yourself. 
कि दो लाख रुपए पे मेरे को एक ही लॉट चलाना है दैट वे सो इफ यू यू नो वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज योर रिटर्न यू कैन इवन रन टू यू नो योर स्ट्रेटेजी ऑन आई मीन in 2 lakhs you can run two lot three lot as many lots as you want because you are already keeping a buffer <coughs> capital aside so your roi actually will not be impacted brilliant answer so uh, uh, aditya abhi aapne ek mention kiya ki back test karke hum log dekh lenge uske baad hum log live pe jayenge yes so sometime the bouncer comes like uh, russia ukraine ka bhi war ka situation hai ye to main back testing mein aisa wala situation mujhe may mil sakta hai i mean similar but may not be right I'll, 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 tell you, i'll tell you an example i had a short position positional short position of 37200 put okay 48000 quantity in bank nifty now okay. that put okay that put uh, Uh, I had made a thirty-seven thousand two hundred straddle, four thousand rupees, and I got exit in that put at around what? Uh, th- so there was an SL for the straddle which was not hit, and I got an exit around six hundred for that put at an average okay. price of six hundred. So five hundred seventy rupees got a six hundred rupees got a. I still had a profit of four hundred rupees, right? So we have tested scenarios like uh, you know, look, I have a philosophy. You know, if I'm te- back testing it, I have a thesis wherein it says that premium tells us everything. So premium has priced in everything. So the Russia Ukraine news was not new. It was already being priced in the premiums, right? If you look, Sola Azar ki put, you got 20 rupees ki milie. If you look at the start of the week, it was 20 rupees, which was like 1200 points away then. 16,000 put I'm talking of on Friday, right? Mm-hmm. So it was already being priced in the premiums. So uh, if you look at it, the straddle was actually 37,200 ka straddle tha, which I wrote on Friday. It was around 1000 rupees. I could have booked it at. Uh, you know on wednesday it closed at around 480 490 levels and uh, i was able to exit at 600 at 916 so uh, uh, there was a slight loss which i which i had covered up today which i covered up today so you know everything is built in in the premium that is the underlying uh, principle now people generally say ki you are doing a positional strategy raat mein something happens to modi or something else there will be a back on event but then i feel it is all priced in on itna bahut risk to hota hi hai so that is why it is said that you have to you know accordingly position size yourself now ab kya hota hai jaise i am told you na ki bank nifty ka jo margin hai 2 lakh hai and the exposure is around 10 lakhs or 7 lakhs so you are actually levering yourself up four times right to ab 2 lakh pe ek hi lot karo na why you have to lever yourself instead of 40% go for 14 15% returns don't lever yourself ab 10% gir bhi jayega bank nifty to ek din to lot ke aa hi jayega na you can do a covered call strategy till then right so it's all right. about kitab lever kar rahe ho if you are over levering yourself to ha aise moves mein to uh, you will bust yourself so aap yeah, short option lene ke time pe ye aap hedge karke jata hai ki overnight uh, always you will keep as hedge no, or you do my strategy you know i do not hedge i do not hedge myself for overnight this thing because the hedge cost is too much according to me i have a philosophy yeah. to mera maine calculate kiya 48% hedge cost aata hai generally overall aap mm-hmm. average lagaoge low iv or high iv ke environment ko so the uh, hedge cost is 48% my strategy is yielding less than that so why should i buy hedges so i that is why i don't buy hedges then when you hedge your strategy uh, for your sh- uh, short position hai to kabhi aap hedge karte hai no no i don't hedge my position my my mean. philosophy is that position sizing is the ultimate hedge to agar aapke paas 10 okay. lakh rupaye hai to you do one lot right that is the hedge otherwise there is no hedge Like for example you are buying Bajaj Finance in your portfolio right ab Bajaj Finance 20% karko gil jayega to aapke paas koi hedge hai kya nahi hai na to but aapko fir bhi wo paisa wapas aa jayega ultimately why because you are not levered so simply you know even if you are selling options to aap you sell it according to the gross exposure that is my rule that is the rule for, i follow so why do you have to hedge yourself because hedging ka cost hai, it's not free and friends friends if you have any queries or doubts you can always dm us uh, we will not be able to make you speakers but you can dm us your messages we can ask aditya here itself so uh, yeah yeah correct. so uh, actually how much percent of roi you are looking at aditya for your most of your trades what will be an average roi for a trade mm-hmm. in a day so uh, there are two things first is cash and the other thing is margin so what i do is cash is deployed in the fds or maybe you know any liquid fund anything like that and that is pledged so i get around 6 6% from the this uh, mar- uh, on the cash and then on margin i make around you know i have a target of making around 20 to 25% annually on my corpus 
Okay, so that's roughly around. Uh, that's roughly around. Eight, 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 eight. I get thirty percent on on the funds that I'm managing. I'm very happy. I mean, right. I've achieved. Great, great. Shankar, so I had one question. Ah, uh, acha, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. No, yes, uh, he's saying like uh, he keep his money in FD, so he get some around six percent interest, and uh, then he pledge those uh, FDs, and around ninety percent margin something he will get as a quarter no, no, margin. Hundred percent margin in FDs. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, hundred percent margin. And on the rest of that, he trade. Peter, for Sorry? stocks also, na for stocks or mutual funds, especially stocks. you can easily pledge with your brokers like in paytm also sometimes i trade i use i, I pledge my stocks there so i yeah, do right. get decent pledge for mostly large caps or a 50% and my cash requirement also comes down so this yeah. is a very common practice and i think very good so i think if you want more margin like aditya gave this good idea investing in this or in liquid funds also would make sense liquid funds also you'll get around 95% pledge Like liquid bees is one But of them. Liquid funds generally are you know liquid bees are like overnight instruments, right? So overnight instruments have typically less risk. So that is why they yield less than FDs always. So they <laughs> yield like one hundred to three hundred basis point less than FDs on an average. Yes. So if FD longer duration होता है तो उसमें थोड़ा सा risk आ जाता है. Liquid bees overnight में तो risk नहीं होता. Problem है delivery brokerages are so high with many brokers, ना? So people yeah, tend to yeah people tend to avoid buying liquid funds right so manak yeah avoid so manak had a question i think yeah yeah so like my uh, since you talked about premiums like reflecting whatever like information is there in the option so i had a question like do you see the uh, do you trade uh, using the volatilities also or like is premium also factored in factors that like Are you yeah, make a strategy depending on one lit. Yeah, do you use VIX yeah, as a yeah, like? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, based on the back test that I had done, you know, if you if it is in the lowest quartile and if it is in the upper, uh, you know, top decile, uh, if volatility, so it's better to avoid trading then. So what I've done is I've plotted. So for me, IV is like the straddle premium divided by the price of bank Nifty. That is the IV for me, right? It is. It's like that. That how it works for me. so if that that particular ratio is in the top decile or if it is in the lowest quartile it is better to avoid trading because then what happens is agar lowest quartile mein hai wo then the you know realized volatility is way more than the you know implied volatility aur agar wo top okay. quartile mein hai to bhi premiums itni jaldi decay nahi honge to uh, you know ya fir itne high premium mein ki aap buy nahi kar sakte ho to better rehta hai ki aap avoid kar do because drawdowns aapke kam ho jate hain roi same rehta hai but your calmer improves if you are following this rule so there yes there is a hint of you know uh, volatility that i uh, use in my this thing the trades that i do aditya okay. there are some questions from uh, audience uh, the first question is uh, uh, you you do uh, is iron condor or iron fly is In weekly options in USD INR is profitable or not, or in monthly? No, it is option. not. It is not profitable. I have back tested lot of strategies for uh, USD INR, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, if you look at twenty twenty one, I am yet to come out with a profitable strategy. One strategy, but I have not yet profitable in twenty twenty one. And that is why profitable is because I am doing pyramid trades in that. Otherwise, any type of strategy you know that that works pretty well in Bank Nifty or Nifty does not work in USD INR. That is why I said. कि वो जो एक्सपेक्टेड वाला जो है ना दैट आई गेव द फॉर्मूला एक्सपेक्टेड गेन शुड बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो दैट डज नॉट वर्क इन अ मीन रिवर्टिंग एसेट क्लास इट डज नॉट वर्क इन यूएसडी आई एन आर सो आयरन कॉन्डोर भी मैंने बैक टेस्ट किया है वो भी बेकार स्ट्रेटेजी है आयरन फ्लाई भी बैक टेस्ट किया है वो भी बेकार स्ट्रेटेजी है रेशियोज भी बैक टेस्ट किए हैं वो भी बेकार स्ट्रेटेजी है नथिंग वर्क इन यूएसडी आई एन आर इफ यूर मैनेजिंग आयरन कॉन्डोर वो अलग चीज हो जाता है बट आप सिंपली अगर आयरन कॉन्डोर डाल देते हो तो वो नहीं चलता यूएसडी आई एन आर मैं दिस आई हेव ऑलरेडी टेस्टेड इन फैक्ट जो बैंक निफ्टी में लेग वाइज एस एल करते हैं कम्बाइन एस एल करते हैं ये सब चीजें भी चल जाती हैं वो भी यूएसडी आई एन आर में नहीं चलती है नहीं चलती है राइट वन मोर क्वेश्चन फॉर बेस्ट रिजल्ट इन विच लैंग्वेज यू कोड यूर स्ट्रेटीज वी आर यूजिंग पाइथन एंडेशन Yeah, so we are yeah. using Python and C plus plus. Uh, back testing is entirely on Python, and you know, 
uh, for some brokers we are trading on as uh, you know using their uh, fixed apis and some brokers we are using so if you are using a rest api then it is python if you are using a fixed api then we are coding on c++ so, so right now we are doing it on or you are using python yeah for your audience yeah, uh, rest APIs. yeah brokers nowadays provide open uh, apis that is uh, those are the rest apis so you can use those rest api it's just a protocol so you can use those rest api and uh, you can ask any like a uh, freelancer of you fear yourself is a coder then you can use and uh, you can write some algos and uh, you can fire the orders even brokers provide a broadcast api that is a market data api so you can use the market data and uh, uh, your logic may work on that and you can take some signals and then you can fire the order through trading apis uh, one very generic question aditya maybe it will help for a uh, new or uh, new traders or new to algo he is asking how to start algo trading and what is algo and how to start algo trading yeah so you know i always mention it to people yeah. first is you know you need to learn bit of coding theek hai agar aapko coding nahi aati to aapko manual jaake bit data pe back test karna padega the best place to learn coding is code with harry ka ek youtube channel hai he explains it pretty well whatever language you want to use either you want to use python c++ all the language node js javascript kuch bhi use karna ho he is explained it pretty well and even in regional languages over there hindi aur english shayad dono mein hai uh, code with harry is a good channel once you are through with it uh, basically coding aane se kya hota hai you whatever backtest that you do you have the flexibility to you know do different kinds of backtest so uh, that that kind of flexibility you get now once after so it's like you know first you have to have an idea ab aapko idea aata hai you need to back test in on the data ki actually chalta hai ki nahi chalta right you know uh, i am discussing so many ideas with so many people and i am back testing it but aadhe se zyada main dekhta hu wo ideas profitable hi nahi hote hain right so it's not just ki wo idea if you are having a gut feel that wo, that idea will be profitable it's not like that so either you have to manually back test it या फिर आपको कोई कोड करना पड़ेगा सो दैट यू कैन बैक टेस्ट इट फास्ट एंड यू गेट लॉट ऑफ यू नो फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन यू नो ट्विचिंग विद द पैरामीटर्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड वंस यू दैट आइडिया यू शुड देन यू नो सिंपली एक एक्सेलिंग ट्रेड का वीडियो है वेयर ही टीचेज यू हाउ टू ऑटोमेट योर सिस्टम यूजिंग अ रेस्ट एपीआई तो एक्सेलिंग ट्रेड का वो जीरो uh, का एपीआई लेके पूरा लॉग इन और पूरा प्रोसेस वो समझाते हैं सो आई थिंक इफ इफ दीज टू थिंग्स यू रेफर टू कोल विद हेरी और एक्सेलिंग ट्रेड का वो वीडियो वेयर ही एक्सप्लेन्स दैट दिस थिंग बिकॉज आई आई स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम देयर बिफोर आई हायर्ड समबडी टू डू इट फॉर मी सो दैट इज वेयर आई स्टार्टेड और अगर मैं वहां से कर सकता हूँ सो आई फील एनी बडी कैन लर्न फ्रॉम देयर दैट इज वाई दिस इज अ बेस्ट प्लेस टू स्टार्ट राइट so uh, audience uh, for algo trading you will get the uh, apis like in uh, even uh, paytm money is providing a uh, open api so you can use those a- apis and you can connect with any fintech company if you are not a trader like uh, if you are not a like a uh, developer then you can connect with uh, some of the fintech companies who are providing algo trading services and uh, you can start uh, your trading so uh, next question is how do you handle your slippages Uh, with your algo trading or uh, manual trading when you are placing a large amount of quantities large quantities you when you are trading yeah so for that you know we have used some kind of execution logics so like you know what happens is i have a uh, access to a bidas list of 20 right so suppose if i have placed an sl order or i know that my sl is about to come i can access that bid li- bid list ask list of 20 राइट एंड आई नो कि अगर वो मैंने फिर उसमें वो करके देख रखा है यू नो दिस आल्सो आई बैक टेस्टेड दैट इफ इट इज देयर इन दैट 20 बिट लिस्ट आस्क लिस्ट हो देयर इज अ वेरी गुड चांस दैट योर एसएल विल हिट सो व्हाट आई डू इज बिफोर माय एसएल कम्स आई स्ट्रेट अवे यू नो गो अहेड एंड गिव माय एसएल ऑर्डर बिफोर द प्राइस इवन कम्स सो इन द लॉन्ग रन मेरा रिटर्न थोड़ा कम हो जाता है बट यू नो आफ्टर अकाउंटिंग फॉर स्लिपेजेस आई आई फील दैट माय स्ट्रेटजी इज यू नो Uh, making the same kind of returns so my strategy is very very slippage sensitive so I, i this is one of the examples of execution logic that i've shared so aise maine teen char logics you know i have built around that you know most of the ideas kahi aur se hi liye hue hain but you know these are very good logics and they work pretty well so uh, around that uh, i think i'm able to avoid that right So someone is asking, can I start algo trading with uh, 
some of the ami broker or trading view or those kind of applications and can i do the back testing through ami broker and trading view yeah so ami broker you know it's a little bit tough to back test options using ami broker so that is why i yeah. use python or if it is only a simple future strategy and you are using some kind of a technical indicator it's easy to back test in ami broker so definitely and you know you connect it via api bridge and you can i'll start your algo trading from there so algo trading is nothing but you have a system aapko pehle ek idea aaya you back tested it you formed a system and then you just automated it that's algo trading so either you automate through a api bridge ya fir aap khud code likh ke rest api use karke kar do so you can do it through ami broker also right even ami broker or you can get the data to excel and you can do that means starting wahan se bhi kar sakte but thoda professional way mein aapko karna hai then python is the better or you can hire someone or you can do yourself so that is the way to do the back testing and someone is asking for the data also where i get the data there are lot of uh, like um, vendors are there uh, you can find in the market some authorized vendors so gdfl data yeah. is the gdfl either yeah. you can purchase it from gdfl or there is a website called trade catcher so although the data is not consistent but they provide free data trade catcher yeah. right gdfl true data there are many or uh, like vendors are there so you can get the data or even you may get the data from some of the uh, no. twitter handles no. also they will also give the data yeah even brokers also providing the data so some of the brokers so you can you can so find for those data data. you will only get from the brokers yeah right yeah i don't have much uh, questions uh, shankar manas if you have any questions you can ask so yeah uh... just here for the for our new any new traders who want to be traders or fellow traders any final tips or advice you want to give aditya and then i have a question like some do's and don'ts here yeah. so uh-huh. yeah so the first thing i would say is you know i've done I, i've been bust two times in my life you know and both of them were because i was over levered so don't over lever yourself and you know hedging does not actually protect you from getting bust so the best hedge i feel is position sizing so you know you should define your position size based on the gross exposure like i said 25 is the lot of bank nifty into the price of bank nifty that is your gross exposure so don't you know increase make it more than uh, you know 40 to 50% ever if you are doing positional so that is the best hedge you can take if you are you if you are uh, position sized well enough you don't even need to take stop losses on your trade because ultimately wo upar jata hi jata hai so for example i have i'm recently back testing somebody else's idea which is like you know for uh, every 1% move uh, you know for example suppose bank nifty is at 35000 then for every 1% move you uh, uh, i mean for example bank nifty is at 35000 now you buy it at 35000 now for every 1% uh, you know down move you are again buying te- so in the first instant you are buying uh, for only 10% of your capital now for every 1% down move you keep on accumulating it and you keep on booking it at 1% you know profits all this thing so it gives a very good roi of around you know 10 to 11% if you are just doing this without any sl or ab lever bhi nahi ho all you have to do is just invest you know in typically 10 trades so or based on in parameter ko agar aap twitch kar doge halka sa to inka roi badhke 20% tak bhi pahunch jata hai so these type of simple strategies where there is no stop loss but because you have not over levered yourself work pretty well or 20% roi agar aap compounded nikal rahe ho cash pe nikal rahe ho it is you know uh, fno wale generally talk about 60 to 70% but 20% roi and if you are compounding it is pretty good and you can scale your capital capital milna bahut aasan hota hai if you know about prop desk and all that right aditya my question to you see the geopolitical scenes are very different right now which it was 3 months back things have changed so in these kind of times of crisis what is your advice to the fellow traders and uh, what kind of what is your expectation as well from the market are we going heading in for some correction or are we like going to be here for some time Or are we going to move up from here? You know, I know it's uh, it's it's it's, it's, it's very, I mean, it's very subjective, but still, you know, you know I'm asking you this question on the on the post that you had, you know, uh, 
on the post that you tagged me for uh, marketing this fno pe charcha you written mm. irrespective of market falling or rising so how does it yes. matter whether market falls or rises ultimately if a back test implementing a back tested system doesn't even matter to you so you know sometimes i don't even know what level bank nifty is right now i have my startle written today that is i know that it closed at 36400 but otherwise some weeks i don't even know what level bank nifty is so that doesn't, doesn't matter you know I, either we head into a correction or we don't long run ultimately it has to go up that's it so your strategy sure. should be around Yes, you should always uh, you're saying back test your strategies before implementing. See, for me no. as well personally, personally I don't even look at any news. I mean, Peter knows about it, and because I don't look into news, I believe in charts. Again, like you, you back test it things, and things get clearer. But there are a lot of people here who are listening to us. Who I mean, when I'm speaking to them, they. Are still saying that we are expecting a correction, but if you look at a longer period time, not as an option trader, a longer period time, let's say one month, three months, six months time, not very long run, but in this kind of period, do you expect some kind of corrections happening, or do you think markets will stay be stable here, or it will start moving up from yesterday's low? Aditya, I I actually am very bad at predicting this. So I said, "No, I invest all my funds in uh, FDs and then pledge it." The reason because I am very bad at <laughs> predicting markets. I don't know what stock will go up actually. Okay. Or market okay. will go up or not. I don't know. Aditya, uh, this one maybe this is the last question I am taking from audience. Someone is asking mm-hmm. minimum how many how many years or period we have to do the back testing for. So I'll give an example. Bank Nifty का तो अभी five years, six years का data हो गया है options का weekly options का. But you know I am testing it on USD INR options, which was uh, the data is for Feb 2019 to uh, अभी तक का है till Feb 2022. So uh, this is typically three years of data. Now what I am seeing in this data is 2019, 2020 are very very profitable strategies. जो Bank Nifty में चलते हैं. But 2021 has actually I, I told you I'm yet to come across a profitable strategy, barring one strategy where I'm doing pyramiding, right? So if you're looking at data, there are two ways to do it. One is in-sample testing, and the other is out-sample testing. So what you do is, in a short time period, whatever strategies you have tested, you put a parameter on it. You have to optimize that, and then for a certain period, then you have to forward test it. Forward test means, like, if you have tested data from 2019 to 2022, then you have formulated a strategy for 2019. Example, for example, 2020, you have formulated a strategy for 2020, then you have formulated a strategy for 2020. Till 2020, right? So 2021, me usko forward test karo 2021 ke data pe ki wo parameter pe achhe aariye nahi aariye. Now, agar main usko USD INR ki jo strategies that I have worked out, if I look at it for 2020, 2019 to 2022, it's exceptional returns. मतलब 200-300 percent return है. But agar main forward testing karta hoon based on you know 2020 ki strategies ko 2021 pe, to mera drawdown hi 80-90 percent pauch raha hai. In fact, kuch kuch cases mein to pura capital hi khatam ho gaya. राइट सो इसलिए दिस फॉरवर्ड टेस्टिंग एंड इन सैंपल आउट सैंपल टेस्टिंग वर्क प्रिटी वेल तो अगर आपके पास कितना भी छोटा डेटा हो साइज हो बट आप उसी छोटे पीरियड में नए छोटे छोटे यू नो ब्लॉक्स बनाओ सैंपल्स के कि वो यहाँ पे मैं पैरामीटर लगा के ऑप्टिमाइज करता हूँ फिर उसको फॉरवर्ड टेस्ट करता हूँ तो चलता है कि नहीं चलता सो दैट विल गिव यू अ बेटर आइडिया की वो स्ट्रैटेजी चलेगी नहीं चलेगी इवन ऑन अमॉल सैंपल साइज आई थिंक लास्ट टू थ्री ईयर्स If one is doing back testing, that will give you the experience of last fifteen years. Because in terms of uh, investing as well as trading, the experience was the volatility, the stagnation, the sub experience. You have back testing. You have three years of experience. You have. You are very right, Aditya. So this is a very good time, actually. One of them. So, thank you, Aditya, for your time. I I don't have any questions. No one messaged me anything on the questions. So, from my Aditya, so thank you very much, Aditya, for your time. Thank you, sir. And thank you, Aditya, for sharing with us your ideas. This algo is a subject which I personally don't understand much. Other than I've seen Peter working sometimes. Manas, thank you very much for your time. 
and of course her and our lovely audience who had been here attending today i hope today's experience has been enriching for you for further knowledge you can attend our paytm wealth academy or paytm wealth community uh, uh, education programs some of them are free enjoy keep learning keep enjoying join us on twitter write to us enrich yourself and make money aditya is there uh, you can connect with him as, as well i think aditya's number is also there i have i had seen it there on twitter he has mentioned it but aditya can we call you yeah yeah i am on i answer all my calls that number is there you know to add to my booking list so i answer yes. to all my and do you use algo so maybe you will have ample time even to talk during the market hours right yeah sure so i pick up great, calls great, even in the great. market hours i'm always on phone ಆದಿತ್ಯ thank you all the audience and thanks peter thanks shankar and, and have a great day ahead all the best and have a great weekend happy investing yeah. and trading of course thank you all thank you we'll all meet next week next friday next week see you next week guys thanks thank you guys Bye.